This is a screen recording on how to create a Creative Commons copyright statement uh, and add it onto a WordPress blog. Here I've created a generic WordPress blog uh, and it comes bundled with those features down the side there and um, a default first post there. The first thing I'm going to do is create a statement on the About page. See the home page to WordPress, as in your main address, wordpresspractice.wordpress.com, uh, is your blog where it always gets updated with new information. You can create sub pages, um, and the about page comes standard. So if I create, if I click the about page, we'll see what it looks like. It's just given me this default statement. And I'm going to add a Creative Commons Attribution License Statement at the base of that. Firstly, I need to go and get the code that displays that license. So if I go to the Creative Commons website, I'll just get rid of all of that so that we can go back to the home page. So that's creativecommons.org. And on the top right hand side, you'll see a button called License Your Work. We click that and it comes up with this easy to follow uh, steps for creating the code. You've just got to answer these questions. Now, the Polytech, the Tiger Polytechnic, uses a Creative Commons attribution license, and it just so happens that this uh, license creator defaults to that. It allows for create uh, for commercial uses, yes. It allows for modifications that work, yes. And the jurisdiction is in New Zealand. Now, there's some extra fields down there. It's wise to fill out so that if people do sample your work, then they know who to give attribution to. So in this case, I'm just going to put Otago Polytechnic. But in your case, it might be your name for Otago Polytechnic. Or um, if you're contracting or if you're an employee, you might want to write that. But if it's totally your own work uh, and it's not necessarily for the Otago Polytechnic, then of course you just put your, your own name there. And you can fill out the other stuff if you like, but that's good enough. And select License. What that results in is some code that we can copy and paste to our website or blog. Now the only thing we can adjust here is what icon would we like to display. And I like this one the most, so I'm going to click that and that has changed the code down here. Now I'm ready to select it all and copy. And I go to my WordPress blog. Remember I'm on the About page and I edit this entry. And it may take me to the edit view. Now, because we've copied code, we need to remember to paste it in the code view of the edit window. And when that loads up, I'll show you that. So it, it defaults to this visual editor. And we know it's visual because all of these buttons, well, if they loaded up, yep, there they are. Uh, they, they're called WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get buttons or GUI, graphic user interface, whatever. Uh, that's them there, familiar to word processing. But because we've copied code, we need to click to the HTML view. And we're going to paste that code just below that about statement. Paste. Then we go back to the visual view and check that how it looks. There it is. And we save that. That's been saved, page updated. Let's go and view the site, or we can view the page. Go and view the site. Okay, so that's the blog page. Now we're gonna just go to the static page about. It's not another blog, it's simply a static page that will always have this information about. And there's the statement in there with the links out to the um, license. Now, a lot of people like to have their license permanently on display over here, so it doesn't matter what page you're looking at, whether it's a blog post, if it's the blog itself, um, it will always display over here. Now, WordPress doesn't make that too easy because uh, when we paste the code, it doesn't display that icon there. But it's near enough and good enough. So what we do is we go back to the dashboard And we go to the Design tab.
and we go to the widgets tab. All those things down the right hand side of the blog, they're widgets. And what it does is it lists all the available widgets to us. Now, because we've gone into the widgets, if we were to save, we'd lose all those widgets over the right-hand side. So we need to make sure that we're going to include pages. And then we're going to include, well, we may as well include a few other things while we're here. Um, we're going to include RS, uh, text, sorry. And uh, did anyone see the search? We certainly want the search. There it is search for when our blog gets huge and we need to find things. Okay, let's save that. Now, we're going to edit the text box. That has expanded the box out. Remembering that we've still got that code from Creative Commons on our clipboard. Paste it there. Scroll down here and click Change. And Save Changes. Right, now let's go and check how that looks, view site. Okay, so what we have now is the pages with a link to the about page, and there is that text widget displaying the code. Notice how it's lost the icon. I've tried to work out how to get the icon in there, in there and I think WordPress is just stripping any image tags, so we'll just have to make do with that. And we've got the search widget. You can add that, all those other widgets and they'll keep listing down there, such as archive. It's a good idea to keep your blog archive there. So we have the Creative Commons statement there, and that will be visible on all pages. And if we click to the About page, there it is there again, as well as at the base of our About statement. Right, that's how you add a Creative Commons statement to your blog.